Hi guys, welcome to Transport of Water in Xylem. You need to be able to define uh, the transpiration, explain how water moves through the leaf, explain how water moves up the uh, xylem, uh, and explain the cohesion tension. So, few uh, definitions that you need to be aware of before we start. So, root hairs, there are extensions of the plasma membrane, xylem vessels, hollow thick walled tubes which transport water absorbed by the roots hair of the plant, transpiration caused by evaporation of water from the leaves, the major force that pulls water through the xylem, and cohesion tension and root pressure explains how water moves up the xylem. So, what is transpiration? It's the evaporation of water from a plant surface leaves. So how does it take place? So water evaporates from the moist uh, cell walls. It accumulates uh, in the air spaces between the cells in the mesophyll and water moves out of the leaf uh, through the open stomata down a water potential. Right? So that's the pathway. Right. So uh, there are factors that increase the rate of transpiration. So we've got increased light, increased temperature, decreased humidity, and increased wind strength. So let's try to match them. So increased kinetic energy of water molecules, increasing the water potential gradient. So that's to do with the increased temperature blows away water molecules around the stomata, increasing the water potential gradient. So that's the increased wind uh, strength. More stomata open, increase light, and the dry air around the leaf increases the water potential, so decreased humidity. Right, so uh, have a quick look through the root hairs. So water enters the plant through the root hairs, hair cells, the structure, so the root has increased the surface area for water uptake. As you can see, that's the extension to increase the surface. So how does water enter the root hair? So soil water, okay, so around has a wa lo higher water potential. Roots has lower water potential. So the water enters the root hair by osmosis down a water potential gradient. Root pressure then, so water moving into the root hair cells generates root pressure and water moves into the root by osmosis. Right? Transpiration, root pressure and uh, water potential, how to join those things together. So water moves from higher water potential to lower water potential in leaves through the xylem. Okay, so uh, we've got the xylem, tish, uh, xylem cells here and the water moves against uh, gravity as a single column by the cohesion tension. So Firstly, we will have a look at the adaptations of xylem. So, our so what aspect? So, they have long cells, tubes with no end uh, walls for continuous water columns. They don't have a cytoplasm, no organelles to allow easy water flow. Uh, they've got lignin, so provide support, withstand tension, and they are waterproof and keep water in cells. They have pits in walls, so um, allow uh, lateral movement. Right, so let's have a look at the cohesion tension of water transport in the xylem, recalling everything what we've mentioned so far. So as you can see, as we've mentioned, the so water moved into the uh, root hair cells by osmosis. So there was a higher water potential in the soil in the root hairs. So they moved down the water potential. Uh, so water is lost from the leaf because of the transpiration, which is evaporation of water molecules from mesophyll of the leaves. What happens next? This lowest water potential in a uh, mesophyll of the leaf cell. Okay, so water is pulled up xylem. So from here, we're pulling water up, uh, creating tension. 
and uh, water molecules cohere, so that means they stick together and they can do so because of the hydrogen bonds forming the column. So attention of water molecules to water uh, to walls of xylem. So the water can be uh, transported up the xylem, right? So uh, to make notes, one more time, the water is lost from the leaf because of the transpiration from mesophyll cells. This loss lowers water potential of mesophyll leaf cells. Water is pulled up xylem, creating tension. Water molecules cohere, stick together by hydrogen bonds, forming the column of water, which is called transpiration pool, and the attention of water molecules to walls of xylem is taking place. What you, you need to remember is the fact that cohesion tension is a passive process, and energy for the cohesion tension comes from the uh, sun. Right? So a few adaptations here. Uh, we you can freeze the screen and try to do it on your own. So let's have a look through the process and the explanation now. So the water moves down concentration gradient. So uh, the spaces between a leaf have a higher concentration of water vapor, and water moves from this location to the atmosphere, uh, which has a lower water concentration. Water lost by transpiration is replaced by water from the vessels. So we've seen that the replacing water from the vessels maintains a high water vapor concentration in the air spaces of the leaf. The vessel water column is maintained by cohesion and attention. So cohesion involves the hydrogen bonds uh, that form be uh, between water molecules. Attention involves the hydrogen bonds that form between water molecules and the sides of the vessels. Okay, and this is due to gravity. Tension uh, occurs in the columns of water in the xylem, and this is because of the loss of water in the leaves and replacement of that loss of water by xylem water. Mm -hmm. So the water columns remain continuous because of cohesion and attention. Water is pulled from the root cortex into xylem cells. So cohesion and attention maintain the columns under the tension created by transpiration and finally water is pulled from the soil into the roots and this happens because of the tension created by transpiration and the maintenance of the continuous column of water right so a few aspects here the fact that less water is lost through the upper surface of leaves than is lost throughout the lower surfaces this is uh, due to fact that there are more stomata on the lower surface and thicker waxy cuticle on the upper surface so this information is important for your past paper questions especially for the experiments what we've got here as well is the advantage of sunken stomata. So there are stomata found in small pit. And uh, what's the adaptation? It's to preverse, uh, preserve water. So conserves water, reduces water loss, reduces transpiration, evaporation, uh, maintains the high humidity in them in the pits okay so reduces water potential gradient and increased diffusion pathway so again water won't be lost that easily right we've got the uh, question here we've got tension in xylem vessels in the leaf we've got different light intensities uh, and we've got to describe and explain the effects of increasing light intensity on the tension in the xylem vessel in the leaves for five marks. So describe, you must refer to the graph, what you can see. Okay, so few marks for the description of what you can see uh, and then the explanation. So to look at the effect of light intensity on the tension, recalling the biology content. So what we should be looking at here is the, the fact that the, when light intensity is increasing, okay, the tension in the xylem becomes greater. And uh, this increase takes place over about 
hundred seconds. So that's that's time. So that's you describing what you can see, and then 